Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte's adventure in Factorio. So, what's the plan today? I'm trying to remember. I know I promised something. I think we're going to set this up today. So, I need to make sure we have supplies, and I think I did that. Uh, engine units. Do I need more engine units? I think I placed a car. Uh, where we are, right here is a car. Um, so I don't need these guys, I don't think, anymore. The engine units. Let me take a quick peek through here. Uh, Energy shield mark 2, if we right click. So I commented on one of my videos, there was a, a comment on them regarding kind of near the end where, where I was requesting items in here i was requesting the components for the the power armor um so i was requesting the, the electric engine units and the alien artifacts and yeah you lo and behold i created it and then they brought me more right away so i never noticed it and yeah so i thought it was a bug yeah but uh these robots are here because this is what the personal robot port uses this is how it uses it um, i had a little bit of everything for power which we're going to create out there I think we're also going to run a line up, potentially. So we're just going to run it straight up the line. So let's just do that. And let's actually grab... I was going to use my car, but I'm going to want to place a stack of... Where are we here? Oh yeah, down here further. A stack of this stuff. That's what I want. And how's this for stone? Where's the stone coming from? Over here? Why would they put it there? Huh. Let's go check up here. Oh, come on. I'm getting stuck. I'm not paying attention. I'm looking up here instead of... Okay, so that's all working as expected. Let's, uh... Yeah, okay, good. So we're going to have to put... You make more of these guys, it looks like, because... We're, uh, we're kind of getting to the maximum. So up here we have absolutely nothing. Okay. So these are all empty now. So now we can... Uh, no, we can't. Dang it. Okay. That's okay. So if we run back this way... So what I want to do is place a road... Going up. Um, I'm hoping three wide is enough to get the vehicle in and out. If not, I'll make it five wide, just because I want it kind of even. Um, let's see here. So let's make it three. Let's actually run upwards. This is kind of the direction I want to head. And just keep going in that direction straight up. And with that in mind, let's place these dudes. Let's place one right here. And then just go along the road. And we're just going to keep doing this. Oh, and make sure it's straight. Oh, what's this? Okay, it's connecting in somewhere here. What's this? Cool. Okay. Um, let's take out this guy. I don't think we need this one anymore. I think I was going to carry the power along kind of horizontally or I don't know east to west um, okay I kind of lost where the road is so what we're going to do oh, here we go so what we're going to do let's put this like this I'm going to go like this until let's see right about here somewhere right right there and then we'll carry it up and then this will bring us power all the way out here to our outpost and it looks like there's a huge clear area here that we can actually utilize let's if we zoom out yeah, there's a huge clear area here we can utilize so we could actually potentially i don't know for example we could place watch this this is the cool part so this is the building zone and watch oh this is just the most amazing part about this game um it's not really 100%, is it? So let's see. So let's see if I place it like that. Like that. 
like that. Oh, I should stay in the range. Yeah, they're kind of slow. Um, yeah, not too sure about that. We'll have to figure that out. Maybe you have to put another RoboPort or two. And they're charging up. Perfect. Come on, place, place little guys, place. Yeah, it might be faster to build them this way. Uh, uh, we're going to have to get a speed upgrade for these guys, I think. So let's take a look at that. So let's do another speed upgrade. That's worth the, the research. We're going to get more oil there anyways soon. There we go, perfect. And it looks like it does use up my battery powers to recharge them. As you can tell here. Uh, so we might need more... Yeah, well, we'll have to definitely expand our power armor. Uh, did I run out of accumulators? Yeah, it looks like we ran out of accumulators, so I can clear those out. So yeah, so there it goes. So that's a little grid that we created. And the purpose of this is so we can kind of expand our field. I want to create a huge solar field in here, probably. I think that's what's going to happen. This will be the top corner of it, I think. And now we can kind of implement power into our systems here. So what I want to do is create flow. So let's see here. Actually, I want to do this the proper way. I think we have to hold the shift button, right? So that way the robots can do it. Ah, the robots are too slow. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Um, like that, I think. And then we put a pump like this. So that way fluid from here gets pumped in. And now let us bring power to it. Um, like that maybe so it kind of looks it looks like it makes sense right and then we need to put light here we need to put lights along these all the way back because I like having lights on these um, it's just so that way when night time hits you kind of know where where civilization is this kind of my reasoning behind why there's lights there. Uh, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20. We need to make 20 of those lights. So we have the materials, which is no big deal. I really like this requester stuff because you can kind of set up your basic items and then you use them. <laughs> okay, so now we got oil. Oh, we need power going into that pump. So let's bring up power. Let's see here. Like that. Let's bring up power this way. And like that. Okay. And then we got lights to place. Perfect. See, look how much nicer it is with lights. Okay, we'll have to get more supplies for this, for the power grid. Now, I did want to place a robo port out here, actually. There's a reason for the, all this too. <laughs> uh, the reason I want to place the RoboPort is it can repair stuff, right? So if you have repair things, you can actually be actually very useful. Um, but let's do this. Uh, let's bring up power up here. Ah, come on. There, and then think right there I'll just do that there we go now we have crude oil filling this up that's going quite fast actually uh, 1.7 1.2 per second yeah I guess so maybe Yeah, okay, it's bouncing out. Okay, so we got that stuff. And then up here we'll have the crude up here. So I think I created the pump jacks. 
Yeah, I did advance, so let's hook these up. Um, if I'm thinking like this. Like that. I think all in that same direction. We'll hook them up here in the middle. And let's see here. Oh, it actually can't do that. This one will have to... Can we rotate? No, we'll have to pick it up and replace it. We'll have to do it... Ooh. Let's do it like that. So that way we have... Where's my pipes? Oh, here they are. Why would they do that? And let's make sure we have a stack in here. Uh, shoot, I should have put this in here before I left. <laughs> oh, well, okay. So, let's get back on track here. So, what do we need? We need pipes. Okay. So, connection there. Uh, connection here. All right. Um, probably pipe, pipe. Connection. Um, like that, maybe. Like that. Yeah, it looks. It's gonna look really, really funny, but it's gonna make sense. Um, the reason I have these underground pipes is I like to be able to walk through stuff if I can. Uh, let's see, this one could go like this. Okay, so we got this connected, this connected, this connected, and this connected. And they're basically going to shoot downwards. Let's see here. There. Um, maybe like that. And let's do that. I think that's in the right spot. Uh, we want that to line up with that. And then this last stretch here. Perfect, just enough. And let's put that one right here. So you can actually use a substation for this. I think that would work out better. Just like that. And then that way we can put in a light. Like that. Um, then we got to connect it. So that's the only other thing. So, like that. Should be all connected. And with the substation there. Now we just need to hook this stuff up here. Let's take a look at pollution. Pollution is manageable. Uh, let's put a substation in the middle here. This should. Uh, so what we'll do is put a substation here because that will get most of them and then we can put power like that like that bang there we go so that's all hooked up now okay now we can kind of flesh out the walls here for a bit so basically what I want is there's a turret up here too. Let's grab that. Um, I want to kind of let's see where's the turret. I want to place kind of a turret like here. One, two, three, like that maybe. Uh, shift three. Control shift four. One, two, three. Shift three, okay. And then we're gonna put a wall up. Where's the wall pieces? I had that right here. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll kind of do it like this. The reason like that is because we got the, the biter bases up here and they might 
come to attack. So we're going to make sure we fortify this up quite nicely. I think like this. And then we can put another turret here. Like that. And if that does attract them down, we'll be okay. And then we can put a couple turrets here. One, two. All right. Now, where are we going to put the train station, hey? I'm thinking right here, maybe. We got lots of room to work with, right? So, we have the stuff here. We can easily attach into it. We can put it over here. So the plan is to do this. I want to put a rail system about here. Um, there we go. And basically we'll run the track straight down. And we're out of tracks. I need to build a lot more tracks. <laughs> Which means we need a lot more stone. Man, it's going to be a long, long, long time to build this. Let's build a train stop. Let's build a couple rail signals. Okay. We got that in place. Um, so we got the train stop. I think like this. And we will call this one Oil Depot. Maybe that's just the name we'll call it. Uh, let's see. Oil Depot 1. Because that's the first one, right? And then we need to put a train on here. We actually need to make two locomotive engines. So let's make another one of these. Uh, there's a reason for that, <laughs> which you'll witness here. So basically, yes, you can have the train going both directions, right? So we're going to put one engine there, and then I th think we can put one engine up here. Okay, and then we can connect them. We can do this, this. Let's actually pick that one up. Put it back in our pocket, just like a good old train set. And then we need fuel in here. Yeah, and I do not have fuel. We didn't think about that. There's some coal here we can tap into for fuel. Look at that. Uh, that sucks. Well, but this will fill up and then those will turn off. So maybe, maybe, uh, let's see here. Let's see how this is running. These are all operating. Okay. Not some very good, de not very good deposits at all. Uh, let's see here. I'm scared of these guys up here. Uh, let's see here. I need to put a turret here and here. Okay. Then we can place some more walls. Like so. Not sure how I want to do the rest of the walls. If I want to just kind of close it off. So we'll kind of do this idea. Um, we need two of these at least. One like that, like that, like that. I'm kind of changing the way I'm doing the corners now. Just because I've noticed the behavior with the biters. Yeah, let's do that. Let's close this off. Like so. And then we can fill these up. Now it's all self-contained. Now it should never really... Nothing any bad should happen to that outpost. So it's all protected unless they go after these pipes. But that's okay. It just will stop the flow. Not a big deal. Um... Man, that pollution just goes up there like there's no tomorrow. So we're going to have to definitely take those guys out. Far to the right there, you notice there's it's hitting there. 
and then one all the way to the left. And it's because the uh, the miners are going after these two deposits here, so the pollution shifts, right? Okay, that's fine. Fair enough. But this is the important part. So now, how are we going to load it into our our system here? These are in the way. Um, how can we place this to best utilize this? Let's see here. Like that. Like this. Like that. Where's the attack coming from? Uh, yeah, it's probably from this base over here. Okay, uh, let's see, like this. I'm just placing these to have them placed. So that we know what we're working with. Maybe we'll bring them down this way. So, we'll go like this. these guys and then we'll just what will we do with this um, like that and then like this, I think with a splitter, and then like this. I think that's the plan. Uh, as far as powering all of these things, let's see here. Where is substation? Actually, right there. I think that will turn them all on. It's going to be jump and pollution here. Just until it fills up, of course. Okay, that's that's called the symmetry here. <laughs> both sides would be mined. Or the you, both sides of the belt would be filled up, which is perfect. Um, our train, which is excellent. Uh, let's see here. The logistic robot speed is finished, which is fine. Okay, so I think we're good with this. We need fuel for this. But it's not going to take us very far, so let's just run back. So I tell you what, I will meet you down at the bottom base there. Ah, you know what? Yeah, we need to... We're almost done. We need to set up this stuff up here. I forgot. So we need to set up a way of packaging this stuff. And what does that mean, packaging? Well, uh, let's see, as an example, if we go into here, we could go fill crude oil barrel, right? And then there's a B connection. And uh, as long as it, ha as it has barrels, it will feed. So what we need to to, uh, to do is create a system that will take off barrels from the train that are empty, load them into here. Okay, I need fuel, I need this stuff. So I tell you what, I'll be right back here with some supplies. Hey everybody, just wanted to show you something here with the robots. This is the one cool part if you have the patience for them, is you can actually use them to do your wood cutting. Just do that. And they are a little bit faster now. So basically we can just run along the section that we would like trimmed off. Uh, let's see, zoom out a bit more. So we don't want the post. So we want just to the left of the post. Like that. Okay, and then as we walk along we can pick these up. Perfect. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? That's just amazing. Okay, so we're back here at our base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stock up on some supplies here again. going to pick up uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 500 of those. Uh, what else are we going to do? I think that is about it for now. Uh, let's throw these 
Let's throw all these into the system. Free up a slot. And we've got lots of tracks here that we're going to use. I'm just going to build these by hand because I'm only going to build them to when I need them. So there's no point in anything else. This biter base just spawned up here. If you, if you take a quick peek here. See this one just spawned and this one just spawned. So we're going to have to definitely take care of those. Yep. And so this is what I want to show you. I want to show you the car, which should have some fuel in there, which is good. I think we've got everything that we've requested for. Okay, and we're gonna hop, hop. Uh, how, how do I hop in? How do I hop in? Oh, enter. Okay, we're gonna drive straight. Uh, I think we can place these as we drive. Let's take a quick peek here. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Woo! Woo! Okay. Maybe... Let's see. Woo! So they did fix the cars a bit. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, that's very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, they changed them a little bit. So we're going to have to kind of come up with something here. Let's see if that does it. Let's see here. Something like this. Uh, let's hop in. Might, you might need to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is how big the area needs to be. Um, I think that will do it. And then like this. Uh, of course the distance matters. There we go. Uh, we're out. Okay, so there we go. So there's kind of the parking lot area for our base. Uh, yeah, it's all starting again, which means we'll have to go on a killing spree. Hopefully, we can set up this train. <laughs> uh, this is the the good old. Uh, let's see here. Right. Um, how do I get into that? Uh, there we go. And we need to put in. Uh, we need to grab the coal, which I think would be in this train. Yep. And then, let's see here. Let's go half a stack. And okay, perfect. We got that in order. Um. Let's walk this back because we got tracks, right? I don't know exactly when I want to start turning, so we're just gonna walk straight down, and we'll see we'll see where we end up with our hundreds of tracks. I'm thinking of to starting the turn now, right about here, just to do a quick, gradual turn. And now diagonal. This is the fun part. Uh, okay, maybe. Oh, look at this. Seems, ah, look at no, it still glitches. That sucks. Okay, so now this is where we need to use our deconstruction. And we're, I'm just going to pick up the tracks as well. So let's see here. I want to do this. I want to do th this this I just maybe kind of head this way uh, like that like that like that like that like that okay I think that will get us through here let's see what that does and yeah, so that's it. So this is what we're doing. I'm setting up the track. So 
what we'll do in the next episode is we'll finish this off and then I think we'll go after some biters so yeah so thank you everybody for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode bye bye